can't tell the story of John McCain without talking about his military service in the Navy, the Naval Academy in Annapolis, and then, of course, on to become a fighter pilot at the height of the Vietnam War. The story well chronicled, shot down five and a half years being tortured in a Vietnamese prison camp, the infamous Hanoi Hilton. And then years later, as a politician, he would go back to mend the fences with that country and try to uh, help Vietnamese refugees make their way to America. And so because of his military background, his death has hit especially close to home to veterans all over the country and many, many people here in Arizona. For that part of the story and his ongoing ties to the military, let's go to Team 12's Mike Gonzalez. For Tom Burns, being captain of the Patriot Guard Riders Arizona chapter came with a special privilege today. He was one of the first people in line to see Senator John McCain lie in state. We're honored with being, you know, one of the first folks in line. I mean, how does that make you feel? Oh, no, we're, we're, we were honored to be invited to stay in the flag line for Senator McCain, first of all. Burns was joined by dozens of former and present military members like Vietnam vet Terry Araman, who runs a program for homeless vets in Phoenix and always remembered how the senator fought for veterans' rights. Uh, senator McCain had a wonderful family. They've been in Arizona for a long time. And uh, just to let them know that he has our support. From the moment Senator McCain arrived to the second his family left, his military brothers and sisters were always nearby. This veteran telling our Michael Doudna why he came out to show his support. You're a veteran. What does it mean for you to actually be here today? To be here, it's like heaven. And let me explain that. Many people will have a problem with that, but it's my service, my duty, and my honor to stand here and pay my respects to the late, great Senator John McCain. As for Tom Burns, he says America owes men like John McCain for freedoms we sometimes take for granted. And on a day like today, honoring John McCain was the least he could do for a man who gave so much to his country. We have, we have big shoes to fill with him leaving because he took care of the, everybody in the state of Arizona and especially veterans in the state of Arizona. At the state capitol, I'm Mike Gonzalez, 12 News.